this Louisiana fishing village, once surrounded by miles of lush marsh and centuries-old live oaks, today just a shell of the paradise Clay Boudreaux remembers as a child. The marsh was so healthy and so established, there was no open bodies of water like you see now until you got to Barataria Bay. And now here we are, 50, 60 years later, nothing's alive other than the trees that we planted in our yards. Coastal residents like Boudreaux know all too well the dead trees are a fatal sign. The salty waters of the Gulf of Mexico have crept in. Salt water has gotten in them to the point where it's not surviving. But help may soon be on the way. Using a massive river model larger than a basketball court, scientists are getting an idea of where to divert nutrient-rich river water into Louisiana's marshes to begin the process of restoring rapidly eroding estuaries like Lake Hermitage. Not only can we model the flows and the, the river stages or the water levels in the Mississippi River, we can also model or simulate the transport or the movement of the Mississippi River sand down the river. And we can do all of that in roughly one hour to replicate one year on the river. The high-tech model, made of high-density foam panels, replicates every dip and turn of the lower Mississippi River. It took more than a year to construct with a price tag of about $4 million. Researchers say the investment has already proved invaluable, giving them the tools to start reversing Louisiana's land loss while helping others around the world. We've had folks from China, we've had folks from Bangladesh who have a major uh, a river flooding problem in their nation. They're looking at ways to living and working with the river. They're also learning what not to do. You know, I think there's an important lesson as to not levy a system like this because that could have long-term consequences. And uh, there's no better place to look at that than Louisiana. The model will be used with existing computer data to help isolate sites for planned sediment diversions, like the mid barataria diversion not far from Lake Hermitage. We're going to see the beginning of the growth of everything like it used to be. Though Boudreau knows he won't see a full restoration in his lifetime, he's happy knowing future generations just might. Stacy Plaisance, The Associated Press, Lake Hermitage, Louisiana.